Hi everybody, it's me, Gregor Manorino. How are you today? It is Wednesday, October 18th, 2017. Are you watching this? Are you watching the stock market right now? Um, it opened up triple digits higher, uh, 23,100 and change. Look, like I said in the second video that I did yesterday, this is risk on the madness. Remember I drew a little cartoon about like a crazy guy yesterday? <laughs> um, is, is not going to stop here. And I want to put a perspective on this. People, you've been hearing me say this. This is it. If you're looking for an opportunity to make yourself, frankly, stupidly wealthy, this, th there's no better one than what we have here from several different perspectives. And I am trying so hard here to, to make this understandable for everyone that, that, that should be, everyone should be capitalizing on this. The Wall Street banks are doing it, the hedge funds are doing it, and you can do it too. Quite frankly, because you got me to tell you what's going on here. It's very simple. Very simple. The trade is risk on. Stocks are vaulting higher. New record highs are coming. Doesn't mean we're not going to get a little pullback here and there, but th this market is doing something that it hasn't done uh, in, in decades. We haven't had a significant pullback in, um, I, I, as a matter of fact, I can't remember the last time we've had even a 5% pullback. This market is not real. We know that. But again, it doesn't mean we should sit here and do nothing. Doing nothing is the stupidest thing that you can possibly do. Let's talk about precious metals real quick. They are down again. Down again. I told all of you I was actually short the derivatives. I started showing them two days ago. I'm a very happy guy from that perspective. Again, this, the price action of the metals, especially the derivatives, where everything derives its value from, is not real. But we can trade the, trade the fakery. Uh, it's, uh, it's it's so simple, and if you're a stacker, you're smiling from ear to ear because gold and silver remain on freaking sale. Let me outline a few other dynamics for you. Cash right now is coming out of the bond market. Look, a lot of you have written to me, Greg, you know, one day you're saying cash is going into the bond market, and then a couple of days later, you're saying it's coming out. Yes, that's the way it works. It's highly liquid, it's highly dynamic, cash is constantly moving around. I'm looking at this from a, the standpoint of a trader. How can I make cash for myself and you um, in short bursts of time? So this is, this is why I always watch this stuff here. I, I, again, longer term, your best play is to hold precious metals, bet against the debt, become your own central bank. But as a trader, you're kind of like a fighter pilot. You're, 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 you know, you're changing positions rapidly. Uh, you're moving from one spot to another. And you could do this in different time frames as well. Um, anyway, so look, just real simple. And especially to the guy that wrote to me yesterday about he, how you were shorting the, the S&P 500, I am more than certain you are very sorry today. I'm sorry for you. Um, I don't know what you're seeing here, why you believe, and there are a few of you that wrote to me, Greg, you were wrong, the market's going to go down. Look, I don't see it. I think the market's going to continue higher here. Cash is coming out of the bond market. It's going to look for somewhere to go. It's going to go into the stock market, in this guy's opinion. I've been dead on with this, and I'm trying very hard to outline this for you. We will win. We just got to take emotion out of the picture, okay? Forget about what you think is going to happen. Trade on what is happening, not what you think is going to happen. You understand? It's that simple. And if you do that, you're going to be a lot better off and you're going to be a lot richer, truly. And again, forget, people keep writing to me about this too. Forget about metals, what they're doing to it. These are long-term investments. Five years is not the long term. Six years is not the long term. Seven years, ah, maybe we're talking about a little bit of longer term, but I'm looking more like 10 plus years. This is what we need to be looking at when we're holding precious metals. All this, this whole thing that we're watching unfold here is creating distortions in this market that are frankly epic. 
this will correct to fair value. Until that time, if you're sitting there like a deer in the headlights, you're missing out on probably the biggest opportunity that's ever going to smack you across the face in, in, in the history of your life. Take advantage of these things. I'm going to outline this for you to the best of my ability. Make up your own mind. Think about what you need to do and act. It's that simple. All right. You will see me later at the end of the trading day. I'm going to do a summation of the day and look forward to tomorrow to see where the opportunities are, just like I did yesterday, bleeding off to today. People, we're going to, we're going to make this work for us. We are going to win. We are going to eat the Wall Street Bank's lunch for them. You and me both. And if you, you guys and girls are listening out there, I know, I know some of you are because I know some of you watch these videos at Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan. How do I know that? Because I know the people that work there. And I know you're watching. You know who you are. You know who you are. <laughs> All right, uh, guys and girls. Maybe I am a little loony, but these are the truth. Um, I will see you later after the market close, and we'll talk again. Over and out.